A new career high for you, Wayne. What got you started? Oh, uh, really, man. It was just my teammates really looking for me, and uh, I got off to a hot start and just didn't look back. It's back-to-back, -back, uh, impressive back-to-back -back wins for you guys over the heat going back to last season now. What is it about this particular matchup that seems to work in your favor? I think we match up pretty well with them. You know, we really grind it out, and uh, I think uh, we really get going for this game. Everybody gets up, and uh, I think we, we really just kind of force the issue tonight, and guys are really moving the ball, and everybody was making shots. Well, Wayne, uh, obviously with seven three-pointers made, it opens up the floodgates uh, for us to talk about you and, and your career and the situation that you find yourself in there in Memphis. You know, obviously coming over in the trade uh, where Dante yeah. Cunningham uh, went to Minnesota. Now you're there with an opportunity. O.J. Mayo no longer a part of that team. Uh, how, how have you embraced that opportunity thus far? Oh, man, just, just looked at it as an opportunity that I got to run with. You know, I, I'm coming into a great situation, like you just said. I uh, came from Minnesota where things were up and down for me. Um, now I'm really looking to really step my game up. You know, there's a great team here, and, uh, you know, a role for myself, for a shooter, is wide open. So I think I'm going to just try to capitalize on that and do the best of my ability. Wayne, let's talk about that being a shooter. You're playing with some point guards that get you the basketball, Zach Randolph, Marcus Gasol. It, it seems like a perfect situation for you. And talk about how much, uh, when you talk about, look at your benches coming in, had 41 points today. Yeah, I mean, it, those, those two guys down there draw a lot of attention. So, you know, for a guy like myself, I just got to really stay ready and be able to knock down shots. Uh, you, like you just said, the point guards, Jared Bayless and Mike Conley, they really, they really look, do a good job of, you know, finding an open man. And, uh, you know, like I said, for a guy like myself, this is the perfect situation. This is a situation where you can't, you can't really ask for any more. You just got to be able to be ready and knock down shots when those guys swing it to you. Defensively, you guys were able to hold the world champs to about 21 points under their season average so far. Going into the game, what was your focus on that end of the floor? Well, that's something that we really take pride in every night, uh, stopping guys. You know, our motto around here is grand grind. We like to grind it out on the defensive end of the floor, and uh, that's what we want to do tonight. You know, we knew those guys are, uh, you know, LeBron and D-Wade and uh, Ray Allen, those are the guys, that, those are the key pieces. So we wanted to try to slow those guys down as much as possible and uh, make it tough for them. Well, the grind approach prevailed. Uh, congrats to you guys on an <laughs> impressive win and a career night for you. Thank you, man. I appreciate that.